Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or of course, welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you are new here, my name's Olivia, so why don't you hit the subscribe button down below and come and join our family over here on the internet. And also turn the notification bell on while you're there so you do not miss any future videos because I usually upload every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, although sometimes things get in the way and life happens, but I do try my best for you guys. So yeah, subscribe, notification bell on, and let's just go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Okay guys, so this makeup look, what are we thinking? Let me know in the comments down below. Smash the thumbs up button if you like this look, because honestly, you know I'm normally all about the color, right? But I am kind of living for this. And these lashes, oh man. These lashes are incredible. These are from Shein. But that is not what today's video is about. Today's video is all about this palette here. And this is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Manifest palette. This palette, I saw it, I think it was on the run up to Christmas. It was in some gift sets and stuff. Yeah, this palette, so it comes in this unicorn. And I actually got this from Pretty Little Thing with some of my vouchers. So this is the unicarton for the palette and then the palette looks very much the same. It's just got more texture on it. And then on the back, it just says manifest your look. Palette contains 12 ultra versatile shades in a variety of different textures to let your artistry run wild. Seven velvet mattes, two glitters, one luxe shimmer and two marble shadows. And let me just have a look because I don't know how much this is. Um, Be Perfect Manifest Palette. Okay, so I think this is supposed to be $21.95. That's what it is on the Be Perfect website. But on Beauty Bay, it's currently 30% off for $15.35. So you can get yourself a bargain if you head on over to Beauty Bay. But the Be Perfect Carnival Palette is incredible the quality of their shadows was amazing so when i saw this one i just had to pick it up and honestly the pan sizes are really really big like in comparison it's like half the length of my finger to one pan of eyeshadow i am going to insert a close-up just so you can see the shades close up before i used them here is the manifest palette here is the outer packaging and then i'm just going to do a Ooh. I'm just gonna do a close-up of the inside. Look at all of these beautiful shades. Some of them are really interesting with the way they've sort of got speckles of other colors in them. But yeah, here is a close-up of the Manifest palette. I absolutely love the shades and the pans are quite big as well. So here are all the colors inside. But yeah, so when you open the palette, you have a mirror inside. So you get seven mattes, two glitters, one shimmer, which is this one, and then the two marble shades. But this palette has so many possibilities. And as you can see, I've actually gone down the neutral route for this palette, which obviously there is pops of color in here as well. So yeah, I went down the neutrals route and I never do neutrals, but this palette really, really inspired me to do a neutral look. So I think, I've said all I need to see about, say about the palette. Obviously, we're going to be testing it out in this video. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for this look that I have on my eyes. And I'm going to be giving you guys my final thoughts and opinions at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. And let's just go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial using the Be Perfect Manifest palette. Okay, so I'm just priming my eye with my Beauty Bay Eye Base. And then we will dive straight in to the Manifest palette. I'm actually really excited for it because the Carnival palette is incredible. So I'm hoping that this palette is going to perform just as well. But just popping some eye primer down and then I will go under my brow and everything with it. So first I'm dipping into this shade Rabbit Hole and I am just gonna pack this on my outer portion of my eyelid and then just above my crease. First impressions straight away. Can you see how pigmented it is? Like, that's just straight off the bat. Like, that's my first 
few taps of the brush and it's just so pigmented, it's stunning. Just packing this all the way in towards that inner corner. So this is the sort of shape we're going for because I'm going to do a half cut crease. So yeah, I mean, first impressions, this pigment, I am so impressed. It's laying down so easy. Like that color payoff. You guys can see that anyway, but I am shook. Next, taking the same brush, I'm just dipping into a hashtag influencer here, which is like this mustard yellow sort of color. And I'm gonna use this to blend out rabbit hole. So as you can see, I am just taking this Im hashtag influencer shade and I'm just starting to blend it with that brown using this small brush. It is blending, it's just being a little persistent, but again, the color payoff is good. So I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna pack the color down first where I want it. And then I'm gonna just use the brush to buff it together. I think that's the plan. It should be the plan anyway. Let's have a look. See what magic we can work. You can see where the edges are starting to blend here. It's just taking a little bit of persistence. Okay, as you can see, a little bit of persistence. Um, it doesn't blend as easy as the Carnival palette in my opinion, but then I was blending a quite dark shade into a lighter shade, but it has blended beautifully. So yes, it took a little bit of work, but they've blended together beautifully in my opinion. They just melted together with a little bit of persistence with my little blending brush. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dip into that hashtag influencer shade again and just buff out the edges here just to sort of enhance that mustard color a little bit and then get a clean blending brush and just blend the edges out fully so we have a nice seamless blend. So just taking that influencer shade on the outer part again and just buffing the edges out from that brown, like so. It's actually really, a re it's actually a really, really beautiful color combination. And now just taking a clean blending brush, I'm just gonna try and buff out all the edges so we have a nice seamless blend. And now I'm just taking some makeup remover on a cotton bud. And if you've watched any of my videos before, well, any of my makeup videos before, you'll know I like to do this. And then I'm just gonna start cutting the crease. Okay, so as you can see, I have cut with the cleanser. I kind of ruined a little bit here, but that's okay because we're gonna go back in with our eye base. I'm using the Beauty Bay one again, and then we will be able to buff out those edges. So I'm just packing this on, and then I'm gonna take a flat brush just to ensure that we are nice and neat. So I'm just gonna Take my flat brush and just run along that edge from the makeup remover there. So as you can see, I have cut the crease using the Beauty Bay primer. So now I'm just gonna go back in with that dark brown rabbit hole and I'm just using a little brush 
with backwards and forwards motions just to blend the edge of the cut crease together with the eye base just because we don't want it having a really harsh line. So for the lid, I'm gonna go in with this marble shadow, which is called Higher Love. And it's like this almost green marble, like it's a gold, but it's almost got like green marble in it. So I'm gonna go into this to go on the lid. I never normally do a neutral look, but this palette has inspired me to, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so as you can see, I've started packing that gold marble shadow down and it is stunning. Like it is a gorgeous color and the payoff is beautiful. There's a little bit of fallout with it. It's more of like a chunky shimmer, but it is stunning. Look at that. I am obsessed. As you can see, that lid shade is gorgeous. I never do neutrals, but something about it just screamed to me and this palette's just made me want to do a nude, like, neutral look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run those two shades, rabbit hole and hashtag influencer on my lower lash line just so it all blends together seamlessly. And then we will do the inner corner and then this look will be complete. So. Yeah, I'm gonna take my little pencil brush and I'm just gonna take rabbit hole and I'm gonna use the palette mirror for this so I can look up rather than have to worry about going too low with it. And I'm just gonna start running this on my lower lash line here. Now I'm just taking hashtag influencer on the same brush and just buffing out the lower lash line. And finally, for the inner corner, I'm just gonna dip into this shade Buzzin, which is the shimmer shade in this palette. And I am just gonna take this on a flat angled brush and I'm just going to pop this on my inner corner and just drag it into that inner portion of my lower lash line just to complete the look. So this is the completed eye look. I am absolutely in love with it. Obviously I need to do my lashes and my mascara. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back, show you a close up of the eye look and then we'll talk through my final thoughts on the Manifest palette. Okay guys, so here is the finished eyeshadow look close up and these lashes are from Shein by the way guys and they're kind of incredible but here is the eyeshadow look close up. I, I love it. I think it's beautiful so let's jump straight into my final thoughts. Do 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 do, do 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 do, do 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 do. Okay guys, so final thoughts on the Be Perfect Cosmetics Manifest palette. I love it. I love it. For £15 that it is on Beauty Bay at the minute, why wouldn't you? Be Perfect have incredible eyeshadows. The only thing is that blending that dark brown with the mustard colour did take a little bit more blending. It just required a little more work to blend, but when it did blend, it blended seamlessly and that was a really dark brown to a quite light mustard shade. So I don't know if that's what had anything to do with it, but they they did blend together really well. It just took a little bit of persistence. So obviously bear that in mind if you do want to pick this up, but I would say it's worth it. I love it. I don't mind spending that little bit of extra time blending. And like I said, when they did blend together, they've blended like a dream. I think this palette is beautiful. I really love the marble shades. They're really, really interesting to me. And obviously we used Higher Love on the lid and honestly, it's just beautiful. I cannot wait to dig into this palette again because I didn't even try out the glitters. Obviously, there's a lot of brighter colours that I didn't use in this look. I just went for a neutral look, which 
what are you guys thinking? Smash the thumbs up button if you're enjoying me doing a more neutral look because you know I'm normally all about the colour so let me know what you think. I love the palette, the packaging I love. I love that it's got all of these different eye looks around it. I just think it's really nice. I mean, I was expecting good things because it's a Be Perfect palette and Be Perfect have really nice eyeshadows. I've tried the Carnival palette. There is a video of me testing out the Carnival palette. I will leave it in the cards. One day I will get which side it is. But I will leave it in the cards if you guys want to go and check it out. That was today's video. Let me know if you've tried this palette before or if you've tried any Be Perfect cosmetic palettes for before. <laughs> but yeah, also... Smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it, subscribe down below if you haven't already and make sure you turn your notification bells to all, it really really helps me out and it means the world and then you don't miss any videos either but that is it for today's video. If you want to see close ups of this look then I will leave my Instagram in the description box down below. As always I post every single day over there so if you're missing me on YouTube go check out my Instagram. I, yeah, I've been po I'm posting every single day for the whole year, so it's always a small dose of me every single day if my YouTube videos aren't enough, but I know I can get a little bit overbearing, so I don't blame you if you don't go and follow, but um, yeah, that is it for today's video. I really, really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me and testing out the Be Perfect Manifest palette. Your support means the world, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!